third, fourth time, you nearly killed someone when you were driving. Oh, yeah, yeah. Relax, you are an adult. This is a kid. Just chill. You dashed him out of the chair already. Now you dashed him on the floor. Why does he RKO him? So we're on the beach here, yeah, and his passport, all his stuff is in his bag. His, your phones, your like Because we, we came up with money, swimming, 2,000 pounds. Yeah. This, that's how we're going to introduce it, yeah? yeah? Right now, we're in a podcast studio. <clears throat> we don't really know what we're doing. We're just here to vibes. Yeah. We told you lot to send a lot I of questions. Vibes. We're going to go through them in a bit. But first, I think you lot need to know a bit more about who we are, what we do, you all of that kind know, of stuff. Yeah. And then we'll get into the questions and that. So, who the hell are you? Go so, on. I'm some random homeless guy that you found outside. As you can see, I'm reusing the same jumper that I used in my last video. Why do you have to fake <laughs> that out? That's so unnecessary. <laughs> I'm trying to market my brand. Look, guys. Now, um, so my name is, I've got three names as I've mentioned. Uh, my name is Os, Ryan, and Hisham. Whichever one you guys relate to, just let me know in the comments down below. I relate to Hisham personally, so can, can uh, everyone call him Hisham? Because <laughs> okay. a lot of people call him Os, and I don't like that. Yeah, he finds it kind of weird. Yeah, it's very weird. But yeah, what do you want to know about me? More, but basically, yeah. our relationship here is that we've known each other for how long? Like 22 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for a long, fam. A bit but too Basically, long. since we were kids, we've been yeah. like family friends. Our friends our fam our friends have been families. Mad. Yes. Our yeah. families have been friends for a long time. And um, yeah, we just kind of grew up together. And then we, we kind of separated when it got to like sixth form. No, not even sixth form, like secondary school. And yeah, like, we didn't yeah. really separate. Like we were in contact, but we didn't link up as often. Yeah. And then finally, like oyster card as well. And then uni, we did not link up at all, but we speak like once yeah. every few months. Not gonna lie, I went to Manchester once, and he didn't want to link me, but it's fine. Okay. You had like Harry Potter people playing in the park. What? In Manchester with swords. Bro, in Man <laughs> Manchester, Manchester is a weird place. Yeah. Oh, I don't, should I pick up what uni I go to? <laughs> Yeah, you're not I there anymore. I studied in Brixton, but Manchester's a weird place. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Uh, Bro, his place is weird. Yeah. Uh, Some these weird man, people. These men have a Quidditch society and they go out in broomsticks. <laughs> <laughs> and they just start, they just start quidditch bro. They're so wet. Bro, you just go smart. to this park and there's all these guys with a broom. These are grown up guys on a broom. These are in a park. Play quidditch. This is your uni, bro. Basically, they used to wear armor, yeah, and then go to the park. Just a local park, not like a big special park. Local park, yeah, with armor, shields, and everything. They had swords yeah. and they used to just sword fight. What else? What, what were we supposed to introduce, bruv? The podcast, uh, I want to, what's it called? Include the audience as much as I can in this podcast. So obviously the first thing is um, questions. Anything you lot want to know, any topics you want to discuss, we <coughs> can do that. And yeah, it doesn't yeah, need to definitely. be like a long topic or something that we mm. take up the whole hour or two hours uh, mm. we're talking about. It can literally just be a topic that we just cover for like two, three minutes. Yeah, and yeah, then for sure, yeah. From there, um, what's it called? We can just continue answering as many questions as, as we can. I've been talking bare, bruv. Yeah. My mouth is dry. Drink some water, drink some H2O. <laughs> what he's saying is basically, yeah, uh, definitely, just to keep it engaging for you guys as well. Want to make it short and snappy, right? Like, not short and snappy, but you want to make it engaging. You yeah, don't want to make just, it I don't too, want like, it to be like an hour on yeah, one topic. Yeah, that one's, yeah, yeah. Because like, personally, me and you, I don't really watch podcasts that Insta. long. Like, the only ones I watch is like Diary Room. Shout out to Diary Room. Shout out to Diary Room. But yeah, mainly, yeah, I mainly watch those, but not really a lot of podcasts. But but yeah. so I do not watch podcasts at all. But um, what's the next thing as well? <clears throat> should we just go, Should we just start answering the stuff? Let's go, yeah, let's no. go. Oh, get to the chase. Me, get to the get to the chase. Okay, I'm gonna just have a look through get them first because the I'm a bit scared. I don't know what people are asking. <laughs> Goodness me, <laughs> this is bit overwhelming, <laughs> fam. All right, Dua from Diary Room has said, "At what age did you realize you had linguistic intelligence?" That's for you. I have none. So yeah. <laughs> don't, don't say that. I'm not. I'm don't basic. I'm from. I don't even know. Wait, right now I don't really know the definition of linguistic intelligence here, oh. so I'm gonna search that. Yeah, it's how you're able to like. Uh, the way that you speak, you're able to... Sensitivity to the spoken and written language, ability to learn languages and capacity to use language to ac accomplish certain goals. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I speak <clears throat> two and a half languages. I speak English, Arabic, and you know French, you could just... Over there. How many languages do you speak, Shem? I speak like three. I speak well, English, obviously, French, <laughs> Arabic. Someone said, how does it feel having gone clear? I have not gone clear because I still work. I <laughs> <laughs> I, I can bait out where he works, but yeah. I have not gone clear. What somewhere. does that mean? Gone clear. <laughs> so I still work somewhere. <laughs> what does that mean? Gone clear. Gone clear is like you made that? it. You kind of made it, innit? Oh wow! Okay. I have not made it. For I me. haven't been updated with the uh, lingo on the streets. Man said, if you had to slide tackle <clears throat> one of your subject subject teachers at school, who would it be? Name and shame. I can't name and shame because I will get done for defamation. Oh of character. yeah. I'm not trying to get sued. And this is my first podcast. I want to do like at least three of episodes of these. <laughs> subject teachers. Let me think of oh, someone that I didn't like at all yeah. in, in school. Someone that you really, really didn't like. So, that I hated. That you, when you it went was, back home. It was my A-level science teacher. My A-level chemistry teacher, yeah? Yeah. I, 
the thing is, we both hated each other with a passion. We both disliked each other severely. But it was mostly on her part. She always had something. She didn't like me. And I was, I was yeah. like, I wasn't a bad kid, but I'd always like have something to say. And she didn't like that. She was always just kind Rah, of like pissed off about mad. Now I just sound like a prick that I can't take <laughs> accountability. <laughs> Flip no, nah, but some teachers were actually taking the piss. Some teachers were actually. Go on. What, what bad experiences have you had? Well, my teacher had my French teacher. Her name was Miss Edvige. She was a bit crazy, a bit nuts. Uh, he used to throw glue sticks at our heads and stuff. Huh? Yeah, glue sticks. Oh. Bro, they were this big. The glue, you know, hench glue sticks, no, man. Not a Brit stick. <laughs> They're proper. Have you not seen them? The big ones. No. <coughs> it's like these fat glue sticks. Got them from France. <laughs> That's a tub, bro. <laughs> she said, "Chuck them at our faces, man." What? The On hell? the back of our heads, yeah. If we got a question wrong. Oh, was she young or old? She was like young and old. She's like in the middle. So the young and old. <laughs> she was, she's like in her forties, yeah. Mate. Bro, she's crazy. Yeah, that is bit old, bro. They got <laughs> Wait, you inspired, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, but <laughs> wait, even in my old school, yeah, I know there's the I can name like three teachers, which I'm not going to name, that have like thrown stuff at students. One guy dashed dictionaries. Another yeah. one used to throw highlighters at, at students that weren't um like focusing in class. <sighs> oh, and painful. this same teacher, we went on a school trip. Oh, this if I get too specific, they're gonna know who. <laughs> they're gonna know who it is. It's this fine. was time ago. This was when I was in like uh, year. I was in like year ten. There was a teacher. The same one that used to throw highlighters at students. Mm. Uh, we were in Barcelona. We were on like a football trip, innit? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. The teachers, you know, they thought they were down with the kids, you know, down with yeah, the yeah. like, waistman. Barcelona. Anyways, like, yeah. this guy, he was a science teacher. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is getting too specific, man. <laughs> Guys, he's now a even teacher. more. <laughs> Please, he was a biology <laughs> that is science. <laughs> <laughs> he was a he was a teacher. He's a teacher at the school. Yeah, he's yeah. A teacher at the school, and then um, there was a he was sitting on a chair, innit? We were just chilling in, like a, a lounge area in the hotel. Lounge, and he that. was sitting on a chair. <laughs> Why are you repeating after one? <laughs> Fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps. Okay, ad libs, yeah. Cinema. Yeah. He's sitting in the chair, and then when he got up, he was like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, I'm gonna leave. And he's like, yeah. no, like he was sitting on a comfy chair. Everyone was yeah, either yeah. standing, sitting on yeah. the floor, or sitting on a dead chair. He was sitting on. A, it was basically like this, yeah. Okay, okay. And then um, what happened? And then he he needs to go to the toilet, so he's yeah, going yeah. up, and he's like, I dare anyone to t to take my chair. Watch, like I'll drag mm. you out, whatever. And there was one guy in my in my year. He thought he was hard. I don't like there were a couple of girls there. You know, he was like, no, no, I'm gonna take the chair. I'm gonna take the chair. He sat mm. on the chair, yeah, and like he's thinking he's sick. The teachers come back, and he, and the guy's thinking obviously the teacher's not gonna do anything because mm -hmm. it's a teacher. You can't manhandle a student. Yeah, obviously not. He got yeah. manhandled. No <laughs> the way. Guy, he grabbed <laughs> he grabbed his ankles. <laughs> he just dashed him out. Wait, the, chair. the teacher grabbed the guy's chair. It wasn't that deep. Like he just slid it. Like we're all like we're footballers and athletes in it. We confirm it. Bro, you're he got dashed out the chair, yeah. But then obviously he's embarrassed now because the only reason he went there was to try, like, you try to impress people, isn't it? Yeah. He's like, we were in year ten, so we were like 14, like, 15 yeah, years yeah. old. 14, 15. This brother got dashed out the chair, oh, and wrong. then um, he's obviously embarrassed because he just got, he just got yeah, swiped yeah, yeah. out, swiped out the seat. He gets up Man. and he try like like fight the teacher, but like on a wrestling thing, isn't it? And mm. he's just bare like that. The teacher just he just dashes him on the floor. I'm thinking, okay, teacher, relax, teacher, relax. You are an adult. Yeah. This is a kid. Just chill. You dashed him out the chair already. Now you dashed him on the floor. Why does he RKO him? He no got. Let me way. <laughs> recreate it. The guy Wait, what? He's on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Your joke. What? The thing is, that, that teacher was not a light teacher. This teacher was borderline obese. Bro, I'm just. Oh, no, no, no. He wasn't borderline obese. He wasn't. He was. He was just. Bro, if you know, I'm, am I, if I'm obese, what was he? Now he was, he was like he was a bit bigger than you. Oh, you're, okay. you're obese. I'm obese. <laughs> The do the I went to an obese, obese class, yeah, because I was, I was referred. If you don't know about that GP referral, yeah, I was referred to an obese class. <laughs> and I, I, when I went in, <laughs> when I went in, I was I was the skinniest one over there. <laughs> they were all like to me, "How did you get so skinny?" <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I thought, yeah, I was goals. <laughs> I came out there like I was the model, bro. I came out there. Oh, you were the anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> I got twenty pound uh, membership ticket. Uh, membership though, so sick, yeah. Swimming and membership. gym, yeah. Swimming and gym. No, but I'm still <laughs> using it now. That's so funny. Wait, so you walked crazy. in the OB's class <laughs> yeah. and everyone committed. They, everyone said, "How did you get so slim?" <laughs> yeah. What did you tell them? <clears throat> I said I went on this juice, juice pizza. <laughs> I've shown them like this website. It's like green tea <laughs> makes you lose weight. Flat tea. <laughs> yeah, flat tea. Did you see that one? What? By Kylie Minogue, that one. You yeah, know yeah. you have a habit. You just do free promotions. <laughs> I swear down. You need. To... Hey, everyone, go subscribe to Hisham's channel. He's. I'm gonna have or else whatever he wants to call himself. Oh. We're gonna call him Hisham. Yeah. We're gonna force him to make a channel, and uh, after this video, when by the time this video is out, it's gonna be there. So go subscribe to what his channel. What the hell? Please. 
Listen, guys, there's no content on it. And if <laughs> you want to see content. the face... He's got... Uh, the thing is... The, oh, yeah, okay. Let's let's learn oh. about Hisham now, yeah? Hisham's got a lot of ideas. He's got the, the capacity to actually... Um, okay. What's the word? You have the capacity so, to, to actually execute all the ideas okay. uh, that you have. Okay. But you just don't do it. You just sit there. <laughs> this is... This is... Yeah, yeah this, is, this is documentation no, on, yes. on camera <laughs> that you need to pattern up and start producing content. Because yeah, you have the ability... So. You have the time. Well, you're gonna have the time in a week. You got everything you need. The only like the scanner's my whole life. Yeah, yeah, you're just making excuses. No, but you no, but mashallah, you as a person, you're very like since you since he third person since he was younger, like he's always been like even when we went on abroad and stuff, uh, like whenever we go like Mallorca and that, we went there <laughs> once <laughs> actually. Whenever we go, yeah, he yeah, would, yeah, he would set weeks. up like all the hotels, everything. I mean, he did once take us to a desert. <laughs> <laughs> this guy talk about that. let's talk about that bruh I still haven't uh, forgiven you man bruh, you took us yeah? bloody desert hey, we, we've gone Mallorca this is a new place it's an island we're thinking yeah, it's vibes yeah. like, it's surrounded by water isn't it it's an island everywhere is just water island girl island I'm thinking girl, yeah. <laughs> so we've gone there we went at the wrong and, time. and we went for yeah. 13 days isn't it yeah yeah but well. the thing is, oh no no we went in Mallorca for 13 days basically I wanted Spain. to do like a little Spain <laughs> trip and I, well, how old was, were we? I was like 17. You were like 19, innit? Yeah, I was like, yeah, 19 or 20. Yeah, I was, was like babysitting like, you or something. Yeah, I don't no, know. he was not babysitting me, yeah, because I was doing everything. The only thing he did here was drive. And a lot of the time I was driving. <laughs> yeah, By the way, license. Oh my God, I remember when I crashed drive. in Mallorca? Oh, wait, was it you? Yes, bruv. No, no, no. You. Cr okay, we both crashed no, it the was same you. car. It was actually, in it was you. It was no, you. It was you. Basically, yeah. The, he crashed when he fell into like a pothole thing and then oh yeah oh, and the thing God. no this was a, yeah this was a Mallorca he crashed into like Bro, a pothole thing that was thing, horrible and then what was there and then like the whole like the, the windscreen got scratched up and then the what's the what's the the, the, the mirror thing on the side the, the, the side the, 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 the side, side mirror. mirror that got dashed off as well yeah, that, got that wasn't the issue the issue wasn't the car the issue was the traffic that you created oh, in yeah, centre of me. yeah in, in like <laughs> the busy town centre I swear there was so much traffic yeah. because of you <laughs> that was because you can't drive literally everyone was there at the same this is midnight we're talking about yeah everyone's there everyone was there was for active. some reason it was some, no because it was summer like everyone's there on holiday or like oh, yeah. vibes in but I'm mid, uh, yeah. That true. place was But active. on that one alleyway, like everyone was coming in that one alleyway. Yeah, yeah it was like a tiny little alleyway. Bro. And it was night as well. It was just bare dark. We and didn't police, understand nothing. When the police came, we got shook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the first came, oh we started God. getting bare shook. But the, the, the policeman was actually bare yeah, safe. He was, he, he remember when that guy stole us. my bag? Oh, yeah. This was in Mio no, this was in Barcelona. We were on the beach, yeah. We're just chilling. This guy is yeah. bare paranoid. He takes the passport everywhere. I don't everywhere, know why. Everywhere, I, I just leave it yeah. in the hotel. He's like, no, it must yeah. be on my person, one meter distance at like, all times. When you go swimming in the pocket, but um, it's waterproof. Um, it's not that deep. Keep it in there. <laughs> 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 you flashing me right now? Why are you flashing, bro? <laughs> So we're on the beach, yeah, and his passport, all his stuff is in his bag. His, your phones, your pot, like, because we, we came out from money, swimming in it. 2,000 pounds, yeah, everything. You had two bags in there. Yeah, bro. 2,000. Man's been doing Amazon FBA and that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he's left it on, on like a bench and I've gone to like play football with some yeah, random yeah. Brazilian guy. We're just keeping it up the whole time. And mm. then there were these cyclists that came past and they were like cycling bare quick and they just zoomed past us. And we're thinking, oh crap, like why are they going yeah, so fast? I'm so confused. And then right after them, like, maybe like 10 seconds later, yeah. a bunch of other cyclists came zooming past as well. So fast. And we were just watching, we're thinking, what's going on? Like, mm. they look like they're getting mm. chased, but like, everyone's just wearing their own clothes. Yeah. Then the second group of cyclists, they were, got, they were zooming, yeah, and he, he caught up to the first group of cyclists. I think it was like two people in yeah, it. Yeah, there was like two. And they yeah, just yeah. barged them off the they bikes. They bodied they them so bad. They got dashed Bro, off their bikes. one of them bikes. was a lady. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah, it was a woman. One of them Bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know women can ride no, bikes. No, no, not in that way. But nah, it was just... <laughs> <laughs> take that all out take that all out take that all out trying to get cancelled <laughs> yes but that lead the, the woman police off anyways the woman yeah, bodied them, yeah. yeah the, one of the female police off oh yeah, yeah, yeah. basically female they were all undies off. the second group were just uh, plain clothes police officers in, in yeah. Barcelona dashed them off their bikes we're thinking oh my god what did these guys do they must yeah, have been like thieves yeah. or something they he were thieves so they stole his bag <laughs> yeah even clock the bag had a passport the money the phones, the everything. <laughs> yeah. And it was just by the luck of the oh, it's Barcelonian luck police. Is that even what they're called? Bar Barcelonian police. I don't know. You, man, Barcelonian yeah. Barcelonian police. Pala and Barcelona. safe. Because he would not have been able to come back to the country. No, but do you know what the worst is? How dumb am I? Because I basically saw you, yeah? And I was like, let me scare him. So I left my bag there. Oh, and I went around to go and scare you. I didn't hear about this backstory. And then that's when it will happen. And oh. then so it's karma myself. is what I'm hearing. About how many years later? This is like five years this later. This is a long time. Oh my God. He tried to God. scare me. Yeah. His bag got <laughs> finessed. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, tell them about the desert. Tell them about the desert. Oh, yeah. And then this was when we were in Mallorca, yeah. Bro, I was guy. like, we need to go to the nice spots. No, but don't lie. We went to the nicest spots. I pat in the car. You we were got actually a car sick. You were too sick. I was 29 right. pounds. Oh, before I talk what about, yeah, yeah, yeah. The so car cool. rental, it lo- it was some fake looking website. I was like, yeah. you know what? The it's thing so is, we're lucky. at the airport. We haven't booked anything. We get to the airport and I decide, you know what? I want to whip. All the, whip- yeah. all the cars are so expensive. So expensive. I find this book website. It was all in Spanish. You know them them pages where you have to like, like open Embraer it and then and it says that. translate into English. It was one of them ones. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, it looked like how eBay looked in 1950. It was so bad. Mm, Anyways, mm. we got a car from there. Before I talk about the the desert thing, remember yeah. when I nearly c- crashed into someone like ninety kilometers an hour on the highway in Mallorca at like midnight? See, because okay, this is how it there. happened. I'm driving. I'm not okay, guys. This is hey, um, uh, DVLA. I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's a joke. Spanish one, obviously. Anyways, yeah, Spanish DV, DVLA. Spanish DVLA. Barcelona <laughs> DVLA. <laughs> These men don't even know what we're saying, bro. Hola, DVLA. Yeah, we're not DVLA. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? Sorry, you talking about you nearly killed someone. Oh yeah. yeah. Basically, I'm driving, yeah. And like I'm young, like I'm 17, I'm in another country. We just came back from the beach. It's night. Beach I think I'm sick in it, so I'm snapping beach, myself beach. driving. Yeah, I'm one. driving on a motorway and the the motorways are in Mallorca. I don't know if it's an island thing or not, but they're very narrow. <sighs> so everything's yeah. like very like like you need to stick to your lane. Yeah. Is it is it a motorway? Yeah, it, is, it was a motorway. Yeah, it's like a motorway. You just need to stick in your lane. Yeah. And it's not like two lanes. It's literally one lane going this way and mm. one lane coming back mm. this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to restart. Sorry. Uh, oh, wait. Anyways, wait, I'm back. I had to like stop the camera because it has a 30 minute recording limit. And yeah. I, I got too hot, so I had to change my shirt anyway. So hot. What was that saying? Might as well change my shirt as well. Wait. All right, but you could have you could have done it off camera. There you go. I just want to show them. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a flashing habit. I don't need to ask him about it after Open a few buttons. Yeah, go. Anyways, what, where, where were we up to, guys? Talking about when you need oh, it. the part where you subscribe to my channel and like the video, please. Thanks. Anyways. Uh, what was it? When you nearly third, fourth time you nearly killed someone when you were driving. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I think I'm sick. I'm just driving, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it was like 70, 80 kilometers an hour. I can't remember. Man. It was between seventy and ninety. Yeah, I'm yeah. going bare fast. This guy, yeah, he sat outside the window. You just, you know, in the video, you're just. You know, Wait, ah. was that on the seat? On the like on the window thing? You were just sitting on like pretend this is this is the passenger seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is the window, and yeah. the window's open. You're just sat Whoa. like that. Whoa. Just outside. Like that. Imagine we're on motorways as well and roundabouts and I was just sitting on the roof of the car. Oh yeah, I remember that. that was <laughs> and I would just, I would sit on the roof and then put my hand in one window here, one window there, and we'd just like go around roundabouts. Like a bloody, like mo- those, <laughs> you know those fish, the flat ones on the top, you no. were literally like, okay, dead joke, continue, yeah? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just go. I'm gonna search up the flat fish, man. Do you know those flat fish, those flat ones? Yeah, guys, do you not know? Oh, they, yeah, they do know. The flat fish, yeah, the flat yeah, one. That's what I look like, the flat, the flat fish. One. That he's talking he was about. on top, like a starfish, forget starfish. Yeah, one of them ones. What, were, what was it on? You the flat fish. Oh, yeah, the, the, the flat fish. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this guy's sitting outside the car window <laughs> and I'm driving. I think I'm sick. Yeah. Yeah, I get out my phone mm. and I just start snapping. And I'm recording him mm. because like he's out the window. He's hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm recording him and I'm turning the camera. But what I don't realise, because uh, I, d- I don't have a licence. Like, I've only driven like... like okay. I, I've driven a lot of times, but I don't have a yeah, licence. Illegally. Anyway, but I'm driving and I'm, I'm recording him Sticking outside the window, sticking his sticking body what? <laughs> <laughs> sticking so like he's probably flashing outside. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I was recording, and I'm turning, yeah. and as I'm turning, I'm turning this hand as well. Yeah. So it's like both of them oh, are turning. Snap. So I'm like this. I'm recording. Like I'm like I. I'm hard. I'm hard. I'm hard. You saying that, yeah? The music is blaring. I can't hear anything. If someone beeped at me, which I'm 99 yeah. percent sure they did, I did not hear anything. What I did here, mm. what no, I didn't. One of my other senses were working. It was my eyes, fortunately. Oh, thank God. So now I'm turning, yeah, and I like I stop. I stop recording. Put my phone. Why am yeah. I in the other lane? I'm in the other lane. Not only am oh I in the other lane, God, but I can. I, see, I could this. even see the car. I could just see two lights staring oh at me. My God. I don't know if it was that light at the under, end of the tunnel, and I was just gonna get bodied. But literally, last second, I just swerved out the way, and wallahi, I I felt. Oh I genuinely God. felt like I saw death in that moment because. Like it's just scary from I didn't even see the vehicle. I saw the lights wow. just staring at me. And That's you know when they have the <laughs> shut up, bro. <laughs> you know you know the, the, the piercing lights, what are they called? Flashlights. Yeah, when, no no, you know how cars they have like the, the, the normal lights. Floodlights. Yeah, they had their is it floodlights? Yeah. They had their floodlights on as yeah, well. I, I was so. just blinded by it and I just swerved into the other thing and I stopped the car and I was like, Hisham, I can't like, I can't drive. Whoa. And you were like, remember oh, yeah. you said good job, you reacted very quickly. Good job. <laughs> you said good, good job, job. <laughs> you nearly died. But well Wait, done, mate. What was I doing when you were, you were, sit- when you were, you were just sitting outside died. the window? I was outside. <laughs> you were just sitting outside the window. <laughs> we were about to die, I was Do you know how far you would have went? Oh you my God. You would have ended up in the beach, bro. 
I swear down. Whoa. I swerved and I stopped and we went onto the like one of the you know the gravel on the side of the road. Yeah. Stopped there. I my hands were pale white. I couldn't see my oh face. My but I remember my hands were pale white and I was trembling. I was yeah, terrified. I and then you this guy told me to carry on driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's like, bro, no, you did a good job. Just carry on. No, I, I bro, I can't, can't I can't focus. I was so scared, man. That was so scary. Oh my god. Ready for that. Ready for, for keeping you, us alive. Thank you. Saved our lives. I put our lives in danger, but yeah, then yeah, I rectified yeah, yeah. the issue. Yeah, I'm hard. Oh, man, that's actually mad. Oh, look, that, that was so scary. Anyways, this is all leading on to why we were in yeah. some weird desert place. Oh, yeah. Not only was it a desert place, yeah, it was like a demon area. Like, devil. It was a devil worshipping like area. Devils, it was like, weird. Actual like, you know, when you imagine like a movie scene and like there's like a family that go to like a secluded town and there's weird people in that town and they all like know each other. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they just look weird at the new family and that kind of stuff. Raven it was like that. Yeah. And we go in. Why was it Festival of the Undead on that day that we come? Oh, uh, yeah. Bro, and that was we got scary. like a coach from uh, the, the capital in it the coach, coach was bare long we had bare luggage and we were exhausted because we already there. spent like a week in yeah. like like nice area in Mallorca yeah, yeah yeah and then we go to festival of the undead wallahi I was scared and it's because like all the buildings they look <coughs> like an old haunted town do you remember it yeah was like, bro they were color. so you know, creepy like, everything was like that color yeah, this stuff is and it was like all like <laughs> he's saying it wasn't a desert but he's saying it was a desert because everything was like a was desert color yeah, and it was secluded from it like was, everyone it was else. Very secluded from every so and like you a see village people in with a like village. demon masks. And we're thinking, what is what going is? on? This is so mm. weird. Remember, remember yeah. um Trunks. you asked no you Tuna. Chunks. Where did this guy get chunks? Do you remember that, that's when we were, sorry about chunks, but that's when we were watching him. Oh we went my upstairs. days! The that's first when we started time, watching yeah, chunks. Yeah, the first time I knew about chunks because of you. Because of me. Because of me. And I remember me. this is this is so vivid chunks, in my head. Chunks. I don't know. Yeah, you do shout, out, hey, shout out chunks. You need that shout. Oh, you like. got. You yeah, need we to got, come here. We got you. My guy. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Support small creators. Yeah. Oh, we haven't answered any questions. We answered one and a half question. One of them we just answered and we aired it. Sorry, guys. Sorry, gonna, guys. How long have we even got left, fam? Like an hour. We got an hour now. Yeah, we're chilling, we got we're chilling. <laughs> okay, wait. Do you remember when we went inside for the first time in that weird house? Oh wait. Okay. Oh, are you talking about the lady, the pirate lady? No, I'm talking about um the guy that <laughs> basically at the festival they had a lot of food. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. This was like a couple of days later actually because yeah. it was like a it yeah. wasn't just a one night festival. It was like multiple nights, yeah. isn't it? And then one time they had like food stalls <coughs> outside. Mm, I remember, and we've I gone remember. to the food stalls. We're thinking, hey, food yeah. and that. There was, there was like a, a like store that had yeah. um, sausages and like uh, yeah. hot dogs. And you asked the guy, is it halal? Yeah. And he must have asked something about, oh, why are you Muslim or something like that? And we're like, yeah. 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 He, and then do you know what he said? What? Are you a terrorist? It's a very intrusive question, but to answer that. Yeah, it was... Like for you to be in a village, mm. do you remember inside the first day we went in, we had to, we made, there was literally like no food whatsoever. Oh, there was, and we, you remember we fasted, there was like Arafat. That yeah, day. yeah, yeah, it was Arafat. We were fasting that day, Arafat, there was no we much. went to the demon place. We went out of the festival of the undead. <laughs> we had to break our fast. It was meant to be a holy With day. With the demons. And we, <laughs> yeah. We're With chilling. the demons. The de Wait, remember I had to go to a shop, yeah. <laughs> Wait, we had no oh, cutlery. What was our iftar? Please tell them what our iftar <laughs> we was. Had no I had no cutlery. and cheese. I had water and cheese to break my fast. No, man. no. So I was like, oh, let me be creative. Yeah. So I went into the store yeah, and they had like this. I think it was tuna. We got tuna and stuff. We got tuna and blah, blah, blah. We went back to our room and we didn't have any cutlery. So we found like some random box in the room, some plastic box, <laughs> and we got a pencil. And then we, <laughs> we crushed the tuna and the mayo together. <laughs> and then we got. They're random Spanish pita bread, bro. And we <laughs> mashed it together. Watched a bit of chunks on the air. That was it. We called that it a night. That was cool. Nah, the thing is, bro, with man. what we had, we did a great job. I think, anyway. Yeah, yeah. But the, remember, the, I'm anemic, innit? And yeah. I got, like, issues. Oh, yeah, I yeah. got bare issues, fam. I got a hole in my heart. All of that, bro. Hole in your heart? <laughs> bro. Yeah, but it, apparently... That was best, nah, the, thing yeah. is, the thing is, I, I say that to stunt. Bro. It doesn't really affect me, innit? Yeah. But it's like, yeah. hole in the heart. Oh, my God. Mad thing. But it doesn't really... Do you actually have a hole in... I, it didn't, it's not problematic. It's just I have a hole in my heart, innit? Fun fact of the day, it doesn't do anything to me. I don't think wow. so. That's Little what the doctor said. Yeah. But nah, I got other issues in it. And that day, because <sighs> mm. we were fasting, we barely been eating and stuff. I was, remember, I was so exhausted. I you remember. wanted us to go, this guy wanted us to go on a cycle, remember? <laughs> I think so, Cause, yeah. Cause, oh, oh yeah, yeah, in, in like the Airbnb, it wasn't an Airbnb, it was at like Booking.com, innit? Yeah, in the Booking.com like thing, she was like, oh yeah, we've got like wonderful Cycles, bikes that yeah. we can borrow, like, like give the guests. I'm thinking, send them more road bikes and that, yeah? Yeah, obviously. Well, like, it's these that. stupid, what was it? It was just a stupid bike, bro. <laughs> it was like, her bag that she takes, <laughs> her bag that she takes to the market, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just literally a market bike. Not even a market <laughs> bike, bro. This seems like a little garden thing. 
<laughs> but then, not, bro, it's not even the ones that you suck. You just leave it roll down the hill. No, it's you know what you it was. It was a decoration it, so bike. Like, you know when you want to take pictures of your garden, make it look aesthetic. That's what it was for. It did nothing, bro. We actually drove it though. Remember? Yeah, we we cycled it, but the thing is, remember the area we were in it was very hilly. Oh yeah, very mountainy. So <laughs> we got tired within five seconds, bro. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> yeah, did. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna faint. That's why I was gonna faint. And then he sham he looked after me. He got me the munch. I took care of and him. And then he like m- prepared all the food and that. Shoulder. And it tasted so dead. It was the driest, <laughs> so disgusting thing. But no, nah, it gave uh-huh. me some energy along <laughs> along with the water. Yeah. But uh-huh. no, nah, that was a that was a funny experience. But now nah, you mentioned chunks, yeah. Oh yeah. And I remember the first time I watched him so clearly. <clears throat> it was it wasn't in it wasn't in the demon place. It was when we were in like the nice part of Mallorca. Oh, is it? Yeah. And you show me in the hotel. You're like, oh, there's this Somali guy. He's bare funny. His name's Chunks. Like, do you know? And you're like, I can't believe you don't know. I about was him. so gassed. I yeah. was like, no way. No, I wasn't like, no way. I was like, cool. Let me. I was, <laughs> I was gassed, like, yeah. let me see then. Yeah. <laughs> and I see, like, and it was twenty point nine thousand subscribers at the time. Or something Subhanallah, like that. you see, I it was, was twenty point. It, it was. It was like twenty one. No, you weren't. You were one of the first twenty. One of the first twenty k. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm seeing Allah and so and uh, ever since you showed me, I binged like most of his videos that night. I remember, yeah. I swear to God, I was like, this guy's hilarious. Why he does he not have so more subscribers? Funny, yeah. That's why we're shouting you out, my guy. Chug from day one, <laughs> fans from day small one. Creators. When he was younger, when I tell you, he was so sarcastic. Like, every, like, he would, anything you say to him, you'd have a comeback. Teachers used to find it very annoying. Generally, I think teachers liked me, like, as an mm. individual. But, like, they just didn't like me when I'd say or do certain things. And I can't, the thing is with this stuff, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's just yeah. like a memory will come to my head and then I'll like be able to recount it. So I can't, mm. I can't really uh, yeah, give yeah, examples yeah. right now. Basically, I was just bad um, sarcastic. I think I still am to some extent, but like I have more control over it because I'm older and therefore wiser. Wow. Yeah, Deep. them things, candy and that. Oh yeah, give us a backstory. So. Oh yeah, let me let me let me talk about how I started TikTok. That's Basically, really yeah, I have another platform called Sonder London. Shout out Sonder London. Sonder and, boop that, yeah. boop. and um, when humble. I started it, I realized that it was very difficult to get traction, yeah. and I'm sure you saw as well. Oh yeah, he was grinding. You were like, really I was, grinding. Yeah. I w- you were struggling. Basically, my platform first. was um, so, trying to yeah. outline like the complexities of everyone, each individual's lives. Yeah. But at the same time, highlight how similar we are in doing Mm. that and and what i tried to do was just interview people talk about their lives talk about their ideologies or opinions and stuff like that and just like kind of document it yeah and then post it on on socials and you can imagine something like that yeah people are not really gonna watch unless like i don't know it's just not something that Mm. people pay that Mm. much attention to people don't really care unless you're really interested in other people yeah most people nowadays are just very they want to be entertained for themselves they don't want to Go, yeah. They don't want to go out of their way to learn when they when they 100%. during entertainment time. So like when you're on social mm. media or like TikTok or something, you want to be entertained. You don't want to be yeah. uh, educated. But more time you'll just skip, bro. Sorry. Yeah. So I was I was finding it very difficult to get any kind of engagement or traction, and yeah. I was very reliant on only people around me or people I knew to share it. Obviously, throughout that process, I I started this over a year ago. I think it was mm. July last year. Yeah, it was around July last year. Yeah. Up until now, summer, I've yeah. realized that you cannot rely on people around you. To support the things that you want to do. Basically, bottom line, people are always going to let you down. Wait, are, you, are you indirecting me right now? No, it was just a lot of yeah. people I mm. like that I knew and I thought like would... Because before I started it, I was like, how am I going to gain traction? I was like, oh, mm. I've got this guy, this guy, this guy. Like all of these men, they're going to support the thing. They're going to... They did not support the thing. <laughs> and the thing is, I under... Like I'm not I'm not trying to like say, oh, you should have... Like if, if you didn't like it, you didn't like it. I don't want you to... Yeah, to, yeah. I wouldn't want someone to f- uh, support something that they didn't like. And then when I saw like mm. how people can get ridiculous engagement from TikTok, I was like, you know what? Let me get myself on camera because I never planned to get myself on camera. I never, never wanted to show my face. I never didn't. wanted to talk. I didn't want to do Not anything. Me sitting here right now, I don't know how I'm doing it, bro. Because I, I don't want to be know. in this position. And I seriously this, don't this even what know. Happened in, this, this was my New Year's resolution. Uh, 2021. Yeah. I literally, my first video was like the last day of December last year. That's it's crazy. You know, that's it's that's so actually mad. No, but I remember clearly you saying you never want to be in front of the camera. Yeah, I didn't. You, you were filming other people. I would always film other people. Always, like, always, with this always. Platform, I learned a lot from it and ha- like I'm yeah. like it's I think it's on like 1000 Insta followers YouTube doesn't bang at all Mashallah. but the things that I learned from it I'm very grateful for and if I could do it yeah. again I would definitely do it again with yeah. zero traction because I learned a lot from it like, oh yeah, yeah how were... I got onto TikTok yeah. was that I found it very difficult to get engagement mm. from that pl- uh, on that platform <laughs> yeah, without you know relying on people in it yeah, yeah so i was like you know what if you i'm going to do yeah. this i w- what did you say <laughs> you love that phrase yeah what, what did i say relying on people yeah go Sorry, sorry. Okay. It's just unnecessary. Sorry. Dripping over. 
Yeah. You need to rely on different people. <laughs> 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 but anyways, <clears throat> what was I saying? You were saying, yeah, then how you went into TikTok, you didn't want to rely on people. Mm. Come on engage I with. didn't want to rely on, it wasn't just, I didn't want to ri- rely on, yeah, it was. <clears throat> <laughs> Back to the same phrase, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I see how people are blowing on yeah. TikTok. I was like, if I can make a mm. dent or make a little name for myself, I can start plugging my other platform from there. Mm. It got a bit out of hand. I'm thinking, ah, oh, Bro, do you know when I got my first thousand followers? I was gas fam. I was so I remember, gas. I remember. Yeah. I posted a um, I posted a video. It was, it was like an Algeria celebration video saying thank you for one thousand followers. Cause yeah. I was gas. I was like, what? A thousand people clicked follow. This is mad. Celebrity. All of that. <laughs> Celebrity was, status. When I hit ten k, my gosh. Cause you know, um, before you hit ten k, all of the numbers, it's like the whole number. So it'll be like nine four five seven. Yeah. Like eight six four two. When it hits ten k, when you see the k, that I don't k, know. It gives you some, some more celebrity status. <laughs> yeah. I was like celeb. Don't chat to me. Ten k on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Are you mad? <coughs> and then yeah, from there it just <laughs> got out That's of hand. Me. Now I'm like I'm like thirty k. But what do you think? How you know when you started of interview mode? When yeah. you started, how do you? Why do you think that you? people liked you so much why people even wanted to continue watching you when i started i had like a bit of a strategy in it i was like it's so difficult to get everyone's attention yeah that i just focused on my people's attention mm. and i just made Al- uh, videos like specific for algerians so it would be like just talking about certain algerian words or yeah. like phrases that why is your phone going off oh it's not oh. Shem, we're filming man sorry, we're filming man <laughs> Yeah, highly you're on you're live on a podcast. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> she said salam bye. No. Nah, okay, cool. Let's go continue. I didn't even know they were gonna so be. So yeah, two. sorry. Um yeah. So obviously tried to target the Algerian audience, yeah. 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 And then just made videos. Pick up the DZ. Anyways. Garantita. Garantita. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we love a bit of that. Sure, <laughs> garantita. Yeah. Anyways. You were, what, you were focusing you know on the Algerian. Uh, me speaking right now, yeah. I lose my train of thought a lot. And I'm used to like recording myself. Yeah. Um, was it whether it's stories or like just videos? I'm used to just recording myself. Yeah. And I know, I kind of know what I'm going to say before I say it. Yeah, yeah. But like now speaking on the go, I find it a lot harder to keep my train of I told you my attention is. Yeah, your attention's And also, of, yeah. I think a lot at the same time. Yeah. So wh- as I'm talking, I'm also thinking. Mm. That's why I feel like I trip over my words a lot as well. <laughs> or like I change what I'm about to say. Wait, did you tell me you're like you've got you're slightly autistic or something? Why Wait, did you say that here, man? I saw you told me that. God, no, no, I'm not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's that. just cut that out. Les Algériens. Les Algériens. Les hommes. Les hommes. Someone else. Oh, someone, someone. Yo, Ennis Wogwan. Yo. Listen, if you're calling for no reason, I beg you, hang up. Okay. Is this an emergency? <laughs> is this an emergency? <laughs> Yeah, I tried to go for the Algerian audience. Wow, this is the eighth time I'm saying this. Yeah. Flipping off. Basically, what I clocked is that there was an issue with it. I, uh, when, when you have TikTok, you can see <coughs> the the countries people follow you from. I went to check my yeah. demographic. Why was it like 80% Algerian? And not just Algerian. Like, I'm Algerian, but I live here. It was yeah. 80% Algerian, as in living in, <laughs> in Algeria. Algeria. So I was thinking, yeah. so if I switch up and start speaking English, mm. I'm going to have minus 3,000 followers. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your whole yeah, target no, audience is just gonna time, be gone. Yeah, five k, bro. But um, yeah, oh. uh, and then from there, when I tried to switch to like more ink, like uh, content that's mm, applicable mm. to everyone, in it, it was a bit difficult. Like the like the engagement rate wasn't that good because most of my followers didn't even know what I was saying. Mm. But then slowly, but surely, just consistency. Well, and you can look at all my videos, and I have over a hundred videos now. But the amount of videos I've archived. There's more there's more videos in my archives than there are that you can see at the moment. And it's not like Bruh. I just I didn't with me, I don't think I blew. I didn't blow. I, my growth was very consistent. It's just mm. in recent times there have been spikes. But I've never like actually blown. It would be like like everything has mm. actually just been consistent. I, the thing is, I don't know. I'm still I'm still here now. I'm still mm. trying to figure stuff out, innit? I, I'm just saying what I'm saying like based on what I've experienced yeah. so far. And it's not factor and it's not like it's not set in stone. It's mad because we like we started like roughly the same time, isn't it? Yeah, but you posted three videos. Yeah, so it's so mad because yeah, we started and I can, I oh yeah, we literally started like roughly the same yeah. time. Yeah, and we started said and I told you like years. I was like to you, Muhammad, I'm gonna do or Amazon, whatever they call you. I'm gonna be doing YouTube video. Give me YouTube video. I used to send like show you my YouTube videos yeah. and that. And then we started at the same time, and then yeah, like he. But the thing is that like, he kept just posting and posting and posting. I like me, I, it was that fear of like, what are people going to say to me? Are people going to judge me? Like, and that's when I just stopped. And then, alhamdulillah, you continued. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's mad. So can we talk about that? Like, <coughs> the fear of other people's judgment. Yeah. Because everyone has it. It's <clears throat> undeniable. Everyone, I have thing. it on a daily. Like I have it all the yeah. time. It's something that I have to overcome. It's not like I genuinely don't care what people think. I do, mm. I do care what people think. Every, like, I'd say 90, I don't know. What, I didn't check. <coughs> I didn't check. I didn't keep a mm. tally. But I'd say most people care about what people think. Like 100%. most, most people. Me included. But it's yeah, what so. differentiates the pe- Hello, I need to... Um, are you actually tired? <coughs> oh, you need some energy, man. Because I just had a buffet before I came. <laughs> <laughs> I went buffet, I watched nothing before. 20 pounds buffet, bro. Oh, yeah, that was like some di- dirty, dirty thing. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? The <coughs> obesity class. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, every, everyone... Yeah. Um, How we feel like self-conscious about what people say and like... Yeah, everyone is self-conscious yeah. about other people's opinion. And it, it's scary. Mm. Like Other it people's very... judgment is very scary because it kind of attacks you as a person. Mm. And it makes you feel insecure at the same time. Yeah. But yeah, what differentiates the people I think that kind of can grow and make yeah. it and do things mm. and people that don't and they just sit back and judge. And not necessarily judge, but like just sit back and don't force Observe. themselves to be in uncomfortable situations where other people are judging them. Yeah. Like you can see there's a big difference. Like, what do you mean in personality? What do you mean? Not just in personality. I feel like people, you can like with not caring what people think yeah. comes confidence, um, mm. more security within yourself. You you get to understand and know yourself a bit more. Yeah, yeah. And you definitely. just love yourself a bit more. You're thinking before yeah. every time you post a video, and I'm sure a lot of other content creators have this. A lot yeah. of the time before you post a video, you kind of have like anxiety about what other people are going to say about it, and it's like you you kind of mm. see what people are saying uh as you post it for like the first like couple hours just to kind of gauge um what's it called just to kind of gauge whether they like it or mm, not mm. no so i want to get to a stage here yeah, where i can post something and i'll just dip and i don't care what anyone's mm. saying because i'm that comfortable and i'm that secure within myself and what i've posted hey, that hey, i don't really yeah. have to care about what anyone else is saying and I'm not at that stage yet but i'm i want to be i, I want to get to that stage and i know that if i put in the effort and I actually try my best mm. to, to get there, then mm. I will. And sure. I'm sure you can do that as well. The thing yeah. is, sometimes you do feel like, for example, me and myself, I feel like I'm not unique enough. Do you know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm, I've got something to bring name, to the table. Name, name me one other Hisham. Hisham Abd, Abdurras. <laughs> Abdurras, oh, down the road, bro. Name me one other Hisham like you on this planet. The, your, your, biggest, yeah. your biggest value, your biggest yeah, yeah. asset yeah. is that you are you. There's no one else like you. There yeah. are people that have similar characteristics, maybe <clears throat> similar humor, similar yeah. like yeah. dressing sense, but there is no one that is you. And that's your biggest, that's your that's your trump card, bro. And that's why you need to mm. have confidence in that. There, People are going to watch you. For yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, that's something that I kind of told myself while starting a podcast because yeah. I didn't want to do it. Remember, I was like, everyone's doing podcasts. Yeah, and I was like, what's the thing that different. differentiates mm. this podcast from everything else? Yeah. And I spent a long time, like I've been wanting, by the way, I've been wanting to do a podcast for over a year now. Wow. And I haven't done it. And I finally done it because I've come to the realization that yeah. people are not watching a podcast just to watch a podcast. They're going to watch it for the people involved. If I'm there well, and I'm bringing Hisham in because I know he has the capabilities to, to be in this kind to of what? field. Yeah, bro, Hisham, we'll love what you mean? you're going far, bro. You're going far. Bro, I'm, like, I'm holding on to you, bro. What? Guys, you heard this? No, I don't care. Uh, you need to get so. to a stage where people know who you are and are willing to actually listen to what you have to say. I guess it's being comfortable within myself to be like, okay, I know what I want to bring to the table. I know what I want to show people. Yeah. You know, and it's just finding your finding out or maybe just testing out different things. And yeah, I think also discipline goes into it as well. I think discipline yeah, with confidence as 100%. well. It's very, ch- it's not easy what you do. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't want to rely on people because people let me down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the favorite phrase. <laughs> but yeah, like it's, it's I'm like, I'm so proud of you, mashallah. Like from day one, obviously I'm going to start crying. Thank you, thank you. No, but I'm so proud of you. Like I've seen your progression. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you've literally been yourself like throughout the whole process and even times you've been like to me ah oh, i don't know what i'm doing i don't know if it's going to succeed or not but you've gone there you've had a leap of faith and you've taken the risk yeah and you're still doing it till now you know yeah, yeah. and it's and the best thing i like that i really like about it is that you've been genuine this whole time like you haven't been you know you haven't stepped up because of the amount of followers or because you've been in the limelight or anything like that i like, can't do that mate that's yeah cringe. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's fair <bare> cringe <laughs> imagine but you've always been like yourself alhamdulillah inshallah you stay the same if you don't i'm gonna check you <laughs> do you know I'm who i am bro? Check. do you know who i am now so basically yeah i do yeah. want to go into this industry i've already spoken to you about it but it's <clears> you know a lot comes with it and i don't know yeah I'm, I'm like, like I, I want to step into it, but at the same time, I feel like mm. I haven't thought it through properly. Yeah, yeah. Like, am I actually making the right decision? I don't know, man. Oi, we got half an hour. We have not answered a single. Sorry, <laughs> let's answer the questions. Question. Let's do a quick like five questions. I said, where do you see yourself in five years? 
Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself. I, I don't know. You go. Cause nah, I you go. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> go. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. <laughs> you go. Okay. In five years, inshallah, I see myself touring with Lady Gaga. I don't know. Creative. Something to do with the creative side. Muhammad's kind of influenced me to kind of do that. I've always wanted to do it in a way, but I've just been kind of quite in, in my shell. And from you. there, you start to grow. You grow another shell. A little seed will come out. We're going to throw it in, water, in the floor. Yeah. And we're gonna start watering it, and it's gonna, it's, gonna, it. it's gonna start blossoming. Blossoming. And it's gonna be fruit. Fruit. It's gonna be a fruitful. Fruitful. Why you did ad libs, bro? Me. Yeah, where do I see you, myself yeah. in five yeah. years? I don't know. I actually, I have no idea <sighs> because. Okay. I've do got, you see yourself alive in five years? Let's start with that. That's not up to me, mate. Okay, up to the crease. Okay. Yeah, it's not. Next, like, yeah. I could literally, I could literally get emmed off on the yeah. stairs when I go back upstairs, bro. But now, where I see myself in five years is very unpredictable because where mm. I'm, like, as of right mm. now, I've just graduated. Yeah, I yeah. graduated, what, three months, four months ago? Not even four months ago. So How long is it? August, like September, October, November. Three months ago. I literally Hang graduated off. three months mm. ago. I'm kind of in, I'm trying to create content. Yeah. At the same time, I just got a degree. Oh, yeah, by the way, I study, study. Big up Einstein and that. Engineering. Um, Inshallah. At university. Did I enjoy it? That was, ask me, ask me. Did, did, no, I did didn't. I didn't but like it, man. I didn't enjoy it. It was not really for me um, for multiple reasons. But this is going to sound weird. But if I got, went, uh, got to go back in time, knowing what I know now, I would have done the same thing because I didn't enjoy the degree. But the things that I learned from my experience like, are like tuition 9.25K. Mm. That's not even going to cover the amount of stuff that I learned. So I'm very like happy and I'm very grateful. I went through that experience regardless. Bro, yeah, the amount of deadlines though. Oh my, you know, you know, normal yeah. people, like you have a deadline, yeah. like everyone does deadlines late. Like yeah. everyone yeah, experiences that. You have like a month to do it and you'll do it like a week before. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I had a deadline. I had the whole year to do it. But Bro, technically, mostly year, semester two. Yeah. It was a final, uh, it was a report for my final year project. Yeah. And I ba- I had to work on it throughout the whole year. Yeah. By the end of semester one, which is like the first half of the year, yeah. I'd only done an introduction. By the way, this is meant to be between eight uh, to 12,000 words. Yeah. The introduction was 1,000 words. I had, since I did that 1,000 words after semester, I had about three, four months to, to complete the whole thing. Uh, like, guess when I did it? Wait, in which, what's the range? Just guess. <laughs> Give me the range. So I had four months. Guess okay. when I started, after the introduction, which is 1,000 words. Okay, okay. Four yeah. months. Guess, guess Calculations, when I finished MC it. plus X squared. I'm going to say three months. I started, I started writing Don't midnight the day before. The, the submission was at 1 p.m. What? I, the day before? <laughs> what? That's, I didn't, the thing is, like, I didn't. How I, many words was it? I had to do between eight to 12,000. I ended up doing just uh, over 7,000. Oh, yeah. You, bro, you actually tapped. I stayed up Your from, faith must be sky high, man, because, bro. Electro, if you're watching this, Go home. <laughs> yeah. Don't watch this. Ah, bro. Yeah. So you're not you're not just a ruffle on TikTok. You're ruffle in real life I don't as well. On TikTok. <laughs> this is for me, but yeah, bro. It. You know it got to because I started at midnight. Mm. That's when my panic set in. By the way, I was planning to yeah. just, like properly start like a week before. But like every day, I'm like, I can't be. I can't be. I can't yeah, be. Honest. It got someone's... to midnight. I was like, bro, it's due today. It's due at one p.m. today. I need to yeah. actually start. And um, I I did around just over six thousand words. Yeah, <laughs> I need like, to sneeze. Yeah, go on, go on. <laughs> I did just over 6,000 words in one night. Wow, that's crazy, man. And uh, what's it called? Wait, so how, wait, Bro. how many words a minute? How many words a second? The thing is, I didn't, I wasn't like constantly typing. It would be phases. So there would be like Jeez. a phase where I do like 500 words quickly. I, I wouldn't even count it. And then like, I'll do some research and then like some more. And then research and some more. And I, I feel like I'm very good at switching up words as, or like basically paraphrasing. paraphrasing mm. But not just paraphrasing, also... <laughs> elongating everything but making it seem a bit intellectual but it's emotionally linguistic like we said before yes intellectually linguistic yeah, linguistic. yeah you relax you, st- Sorry. you stick to your what's your <laughs> intelligence uh, my intelligence type is like food intelligence I'm very intelligent with food oh that's why the obese people ask yeah, tips, that's why, yeah <laughs> for my <laughs> tips by the way ladies juice ladies tea bro it got to like 10am 10, uh, 10, 10 in the morning like, imagine I'm seeing the whole sun come up the birds <laughs> <laughs> did you pray did you pray at least yeah I can't lie I don't think I did you? <laughs> Wait, why are you drawing me up bro? I was in panic mode the whole night. God still it got to like there. ten, ten thirty. I started hallucinating. Whoa! So God, I started and hallucinating. wait, you had more to write. Yeah, basically. But and the thing is, you know, when you like do a lot of words, you yeah. kind of mm. when you're done, you proofread. I didn't proofread anything. I finished it. Oh, My brain. I'm seeing hell. turtles just flying in the ocean. <laughs> the turtles. And I was just like, let me just submit it. Bro, you're actually mad. That's yeah, crazy. that was a bad. That was actually a bad experience though, because I looked like a zombie by the end of. Do you know what I did when I after I submitted it? I went for what? a cycle. 
<laughs> you went for well, it. I went bro, for you cycle. love your cycling, man. I went you for love a cycle. I was like, I feel de- devastated, distraught, whatever. I feel very sleep deprived. Well, I was sleep. I had been awake for like over yeah. 30 hours. Were you not uh, like a, a cycling hazard just there and then? I was bro. cycling. It felt weird. It felt so like weird. Like you were flying in it. I swear, like I was just because I had a road bike as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just there, like just. Bruh, I was like, this is hell? so weird. Like, why there's people? People <laughs> exist. <laughs> But now, nah, how did we even get to this? Yeah, <laughs> see, <laughs> look where we went, bro. bro like, where did you see yourself bro. in five years? I went to cycle after exam. <laughs> nah, where do you wish to see yourself? Oh, that's a, I think that's a better question. I wish to see yeah, myself exactly, whoever it is. in a position Very where nice. I have a platform large enough yeah, and bro. reach enough people where I can create content and do what I love yeah. and make money, obviously. Obviously, support my ch- parents ch- 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 and yes. my family <laughs> but at the same yes. time one thing that I'm very big on is having influence mm. over people in a positive way mm. because that's kind of why I started all of this in the first place and I feel like if I reach a stage where people kind of like or like listen to me and I, and I have some sort of platform yeah. I will be able to actually make change and a lot of people go up like a lot of people want to make change a lot of people want to help other people and mm. people go about like doing charity or like becoming uh, lawyers or doctors or going into fields where they actually help it's just keep looking at me, keep me look. i'm gonna stop laughing i'm gonna look up there for <laughs> i'm gonna look at you lot because you lot are listening to me right now intently yeah, yeah sorry <laughs> anyways yeah <laughs> you were saying yeah everyone has their own means yeah. of trying to help people in it and yeah, i yeah. feel like this is the kind of way i want to do it because you have the most um yeah what's the word <laughs> I can't take Can it. we continue? We need to go to funny why questions. Are we like, why are we smiling? Why am I no, smiling? We have to go to funny questions now. Basically, I no, want to try really my like best that, to help. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Just change Shut up, up man. What should I say then? Remix I want to be a fireman. <laughs> you know what? Let me try to look for a less serious question. Yeah. Uh, Do you Do often myself. use your sarcasm to tease others? Yes. Ha, bro, I've been at the butt of his joke so many times. No, you haven't. I didn't. I never, yes, I have. You know, you shame When you I was used, younger. You used to pattern us when we were younger, you know. Oh, my oh, God. We got a bit of an age gap. How many years? Two years? Oh, wow. Everyone's going to have all them. Yeah, I'm two years older. Yeah, he seems two years older, but now it doesn't matter because I'm the most. So anyone on the dating apps that I've been on and I've been writing, I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually 25. Um, my mom is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> my mom as well. <laughs> mismatch, mismatch, mismatch. Oh my days, yeah. relax. I'm cutting Obviously. that out. <laughs> cutting that out, bro. Basically, me and Hisham have a bit of an age gap. <laughs> Bumble. But like, I feel, yeah. like, I feel like we're at the age where yeah. we can have our differences, but at the same time, yeah, we can get along. We still got along though. Bro, why are we being dramatic? No, we, we still get along. We're, we're, basi- we're to me, you're basically, you're, we're basically brothers, basically. Like, oh, uh, someone said, tell us your backstory, why you started TikTok and stuff. We, I think we already. My username. Oh, yeah. This is what I need to cover because he calls me Muhammad because that's my name. Yes. Amazian, yeah. Amazian is also my first name. Amazian. My first name is Muhammad Amazian. Amazing. But why is it my username on TikTok here? Yeah? Why? Is tell because <laughs> why? Tell us. You know this. <laughs> tell them. The reason why my name is Amazian on TikTok is because. I was embarrassed to be on the app and, and actually making videos in the first place. Yeah. So I didn't want anyone that I knew to actually find me. But I was like, if it gets to a point where yeah. like I can like build a name for myself, yeah. like 4,000 followers, <laughs> yeah. thank you for 4K by the way. Um, yeah. Then like I should still use a name that belongs to me. I don't want to have some random, I don't want to almost be Roblox Phil. 419. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to have like a random name. So I just still use mm. my first name, but the one that like people don't really use in it. My first video. Oh, my first video on TikTok. Oh yeah. my God, it's so cringe, yeah. <coughs> my first video was more of a video to myself than it was to other people. It was called Don't Care About What People Think. And it's basically no similar to what I was telling you before about people's opinions yeah, yeah, and yeah. how paying too much attention to it will yeah. stop you from doing things yeah. that can help you grow in the future. Mm. It was basically something along those lines. Yeah. Well, like, got like one view and I think it was from me, from my other account. Oh my God, one view. <laughs> I swear yeah. down, bro. And then Bruh, I saw me. someone liked it and I was like, wait, no way did a random person <laughs> just see this video. And, and yeah, like, this yeah, was yeah. after like 12 hours. I like, guess, bro. And you know, you know the ones where you first start out and you like your own videos. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. my own video. And then, because I had another account with another platform. I liked it from there. I was like, two likes, yeah, come on. <laughs> Collect them. The first, my first video that blew was, it was a random one. It was, uh, it was a stitch. The thing I clocked, I blew a lot of stitches. Yeah, I think stitch because people they just like my yeah. reactions to stuff, and I, a lot of it was sarcastic as well. Yeah, so you were very <laughs> changed much. Got, uh, blocked a few times, but yeah. I, can I talk about me being banned? Because I swear time, I've been banned t- over twenty-eight times and counting. Bro. I got banned two days ago, yeah, Bro, TikTok, because man. A, a, because TikTok. of a comment I said in July. Yeah, and I said, um, what did I say? I said I, I said hashtag cancelled, and I put the dead emoji, and they blocked. They banned me yesterday for a week. What? What I, mean, what? I showed you this and you didn't care. Oh yeah, sorry guys. Are you just actually surprised? No, I saved my reaction for this. Wait, <laughs> what? The, wow, they are they are like. It's <laughs> don't like, try it. Don't try it. It's you like your, your you girlfriend. Then, you don't care now. <laughs> oh. Well, no, I've been banned so many times. I've had so many videos taken down. Yeah, all that. I've had my account them. permanently deleted once. 
It was the you know oh. that video where I was, oh, <laughs> I, this is a video I want to archive now, bro. I don't even want to talk about. Was it? it was yeah. the one where I was telling white people to call their name uh, to call their kids beautiful Arabic names, and I was saying Bakara oh, and Ukhtabot. They, they what? They're gonna delete you for that? Yeah, yeah. My, my account got permanently. But how do they understand what he said? What he means? They don't know. It's because it got reported so many times. Bro. I feel like a lot of I feel like a lot of them were like Arabs, like Khalijis or Saudis and stuff, what and they saw the, the video hell? and they, they were like, "Oh, yo, you're, you're tricking people." Let no one is going to name their kid Bakara with no research, bruv. Literally, no one. Yeah, yeah. What they're gonna be like? Oh my god, I saw some. Oh, I like the name Bakara. Let's yeah, call I, her I Bakara. like the name Bakara. Makes me shut up, man. No one's gonna Isn't do it. That. Bakara, Bakara. I just, I just clocked my hair on the camera, yeah. Oh yeah. And no one told me anything. Thank sorry, you. Sorry, I was. I support you. I <laughs> yeah. be there for you. Oh, hey, Spotify hey, people. My hair was looking nice. I can't lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah that video, the first video. Is, that wait, blew, is your throat that like dry? You keep drinking. It's because like, I'm talking so much, man. And oh, I just okay. talk bare quick as well. Yeah, and, like, do, it's do. just using a lot, a lot of. Tongue man thinks he's on the TikTok right now. But anyways, yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> man thinks he's got like a timer. <laughs> <laughs> One minute timer. Yeah. No, but now it's three minutes. Everyone yeah. listens to my three minute story. You know, I can't, I can't understand that. How, what, have people you watched, are yeah. watching me talking. I was at a stage Smart, where. Um, yeah. I would like it would be What's like short that? reactions and that's the kind of videos that would blow and i was like i want to be yeah. at a stage where i could just talk on camera yeah. and people and that would get engagement mm. yeah. bro my the, the video I that i posted 24 keep, yeah. hours ago is on 8.1 million likes and wow. uh, 8.1 oh, <laughs> 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 relax 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 8.1 million views and 2. Uh, 2 million likes it was it was me <laughs> talking about um swimming nah when i when i tried to cheat on a maths exam and i flopped the video was like let me check it was two and a half people minutes of me two talking. Minutes and a half. You watched the wow, short YouTube video. But I feel like because people can relate, it's really relatable what, you t- what you're talking about. Most of the comments is literally, let me see the relate. most liked comment right now. The most liked comment is, uh, yeah, why is your storytelling so good? Well, you need a podcast. Yeah. Guys, he you finally asked, did it. I've provided. Yes. I hope I haven't underperformed. I've been trying my best. You just reminded mm. me. Yeah. With this podcast, good. I want it to be something where it's not like I bring on guests or like it's like a special guest or something like that. It's more like um, the end of the day. I want people that I bring on as guests, yeah, to be just more involved in whatever it is we're doing in general. I don't want it to be like a one feature appearance or something like that. Yeah. I want it because anyone that I even invite on is someone that I, uh, just, it's just going to be people that I vibe with in general. Anyway, it could just be someone that I think is very well spoken on a certain topic and then we yeah. can get you lot to, to engage with us on it. But, um, yeah, I think that I've yeah. Yeah, I've if, it, if, it, if it, I want it to be sort of like a little community of uh, mm. different groups of people, and we just yeah. get to talk and have conversations, and and like as time goes on, you kind of like build a relationship with kind of everyone that's mm. uh, that's a part of it. That's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. More of a uh, a seat at the, I wanted to call it a seat a seat at the table, table. yeah. But Solange just did that with her album. Oh, she, stole my, she? she stole my idea, bruv. Wow. But I wanted it to be like, you sure. guys feel like you have a seat at the table. We're just having a conversation at the table and you're just yeah. there and you're just present. And that's the f- kind of vibe that I'm going for. Should be like tea time with Amazian. No, I'm not doing that. That'll be good. The amount of tea time with... <laughs> I've heard, nah, it's just going to be called the Amazian podcast. That's it. Because Amazian, the, name, yeah. the name will speak for itself. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Like down below, please. Thank you. How and many like likes? Like down below. Also... Yeah. Oh, like target. I've, because I feel like this is something new that I haven't. Um, okay. It's different to my normal content. I'll. I'm um, three hundred fifty. Like, huh? Oh. <laughs> I went hundred. <laughs> <100. laughs> <100. laughs> I support you. I'm the thing is, I'm gonna do this regardless. But it's just. Um, it helps with engagement. So just help. Like, just, just help do it. Up, yeah. Right? Just, just well, like, do what it. you have to do. do you know what? Community. Right now, yeah. Just minimize the browser. Not even minimize the browser. <laughs> minimize the 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 video page. Minimize it. And do what? Yeah. And now, can you see the like button at the bottom? Just. You don't even need to smash it. I know Sp- bare YouTubers are like, smash. I don't even want you to smash it. Just, just touch just it. A little tap. Feel it. Little. Anyway, also, yeah. um, in the comments, let me know uh, what was good, what wasn't good. Basically, Please. just give me any kind of feedback. feedback. I always need that when I'm, whenever I'm doing something new, but especially since I'm trying to build it around the audience anyway. Yeah. And, and it, not only it, yeah. that, let me know who you want to see on as well, because yeah. I just want to know who you guys want to see, innit? <laughs> if you guys do say feedback, by the way, if there's any feedback about me, I am the guy in the... Bl- in guys, the let Hishem know. I'm the guy in the black... If you're going to... Black guy in the black sweater, yeah? Okay, cool. Now, did you, remember, did you see the, the the video before that? It was uh, tasting Japanese uh, sweets, innit? Yeah. Bare people were like, the guy in the black uh, jumpers, bare funny, this, that. No. Someone... I pinned a comment where someone was like, oh... <laughs> Oh, please tell me the guy in black has his own YouTube channel. He's so unintentionally That was funny. a diss. That was actually unintentionally funny. No, but the thing is, he was. They're just basically funny. making fun of me. He's just funny, innit? 
Why are you trying to violate? Whoever said that, why are you trying to violate? Anyway, yeah, you're actually trying that. to violate. You're actually trying to violate, but you pinned your comment now, so everyone has to like it. <laughs> 97 likes. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> 97 <laughs> likes. <laughs> Anyways, um, she had my mum. <laughs> yeah, she got gas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know, bro, you know our parents. My par- everyone looks at your videos. So you swear. My mum. No, I don't even know how my mum found your video. Your first ever. She didn't look at the last ones. She was like. She was he actually, I don't want you going with him ever again. Someone said, how can I learn a British accent? We're all like, just eat bees on toast, go breaks for the day, and you'll get literally, it. Yeah, literally. Why does it look like you don't brush your hair? That is fantastic time. Wow, I very, do. very personal. I can't lie, I don't, really, I don't really do anything to my hair, innit? He literally just wakes up. I just wake up. Or like, I just shower, yeah. and then just... just Please have a close-up. Just do close-up of your hair right now, because it's, it's, it's looking a bit mad right now. I'm not going to lie. It's got a life of its own. There you go, yeah. done. Oh, I should have done. Next time, I'm gonna look through the questions before because it's, yeah, obviously it's too long. Um, Anyways, um, guys, um, it's not a sponsored video. This is Apple. But I feel like I, what I really like about like the people that follow you, I feel like they're really, really loyal to you. Oh, in a sense that they they're very invested in into in the in the content that you kind of provide for them. They're you know they're always they're very very supportive and they're always that's why you always you're always getting a lot of feedback and a lot of um, yeah true they're very you know they seem yeah. very loyal we but love I, you guys i've yeah. never actually like deep and the thing is i'm not that kind yeah. of person anyway like i don't like what if i see like a nice i'm not gonna be like oh my god thank you so much like, i don't know it's just yeah, not me yeah. in it because i don't really like compliments i'm very awkward with compliments yeah but yeah. honestly yeah shout out you lot Allah. like oh, i know everyone says this at some point mm. but genuinely yeah like any uh, you need people to grow and you are people yes. and I am growing. So thank you. <laughs> it just makes sense mathematically. Love for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, yeah. I'm very bad with this X kind squared. of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. He he did the whole degree. Yeah. I body. can't believe like you used to like I can't believe I never clocked like how toxic your school was. Yeah, but you I know, used to tell you, innit? You did tell me yeah, some stories. Yeah, and I never I'm here to support I was like, oh yeah. I used to tell him all the mad stuff that happened in my school, he wouldn't care. All the time. Like, oh, that's mad. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I tell TikTok and they're like Bro, that's insane, Everyone's, dude. But these are like <laughs> Americans, dude. bro. Oh, yeah, my American accent, yeah. I'll just stick to this one for now because yeah. I'm very bad at accents in general. More Can you not accent. to do a French accent? You could do French accent. A little. Um, Best life advice you share or something to live by. Let's just make some generic comments. Come on, <laughs> be happy. Follow your dreams. If you have a friend, if you have a friend and you have an inkling that they're going to blow up, stick to them, yeah? Stick to them. Yeah, be there for them every day when they need you. Just be there, okay? Because that you're gonna be. <laughs> you know that's oh that's crazy, bro. What? <laughs> no, because I see what you're describing now. I see it a lot in you. Yeah, it's mad. Guys, Thank don't you. forget. Thank don't you. I'm joking, bro. <laughs> How did you become a great waffler at a young age? Please give oh, me yeah, a tip. Please tell us. Okay, <laughs> I I actually <coughs> had to think about this. Whenever I see yeah. people like on oh, the storyteller comments, I'm thinking, like, really, like where? I was like, surely, like, why is everyone saying that the storytelling yeah. is good? Mm. And I clocked, it's a combination, well, I f- this is what I think anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. a combination of a few things. Basically, the f- I think the most, it's not, it's not the most important. One yeah. of the things is because, mm. because I have such a short attention span mm. and I get distracted very easily, mm. I'm able to understand how to engage people a bit more because I'm always comparing it to myself. I'm like, mm. if I speak like this or like, if I speak at this speed or if I say this kind of thing, mm. would I be engaged myself or would I not? Yeah, and then things that Definitely. I wouldn't be engaged by, I'd either cut out or leave out. So like when I'm doing like yeah. these um, story time stuff, yeah. I don't just speak it. I I write it out beforehand. So yeah, behind the scenes, oh, yeah, wow. I actually write it out as if I'm writing a little uh, a short story. And that's why everything is so wow. concise. And I noticed a lot of people saying, but mm. the amount of detail you're getting in to like a, a three mm. minute video, mm. it allows the person to understand like <laughs> the backstory. Yeah. Like uh, what's it called? Visualize stuff. Yeah, definitely. And also just be engaged with it in mm. general. <clears throat> Fun fact about me, yeah. When I was younger, I didn't really have like the the normal um, sources of entertainment. I didn't watch movies like that. I didn't watch series like mm. you know the kids shows that everyone watched, like Disney Channel, all of them no, things. I was not involved. Okay, my parents kind of like they well. kind of restricted us a lot when it came to that stuff. And obviously, when you're younger, like you, it's annoying. It's like, you want to yeah. be involved with what all the kids are talking about, whatever. Hurry, my hurry, main hurry. source of entertainment was books. And yeah, I'm not even yeah, mad about that because really I genuinely love. loved books. I can say that. Can, like, objectively, books. I loved books. Yeah. I love books to the point where I read books in the toilet. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. read books like for hours before I sleep. And like I'll go into like early in the morning reading books. One time I remember, I think I was like nine or ten. I, I can't remember. It might have been even younger than that. And I was reading a book. Wow. And <coughs> this was Peter before my dad went yeah. to, you know, the, the meeting that they have with all the man. <laughs> the animals, yeah. Yeah, all the, all the uncle meetings. All the uncles, yeah. And they used to go quite late in it. So they'd leave around like ten, come back at like one or two in the morning, yeah. whatever. Right. Before my dad left, he was like mm. to me, Muhammad, like, 
put the book away. I'd, like uh, as soon as I leave, you put the book away. Yeah, go yeah, to yeah. sleep because I had school the next day, innit? Yeah. And as a kid, you, you kind of need your sleep. Mm. Like 10 p.m. was my be- yeah 9 10 p.m. was my bedtime. Them times. Yeah. My dad's like yeah, put the book away. I was so <laughs> engaged in that book. Like I I think it was uh, a Goosebumps book by. Uh, oh my god! You remember Goosebumps? Yeah. yeah by come on, oh, Rowling. Like, yeah, yeah, that one. That one. That one. Rowling, <laughs> shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even remember Goosebumps, you waste, man. Anyways, <laughs> I remember, oh, remember Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> oh, move, man. Tracy Beaker and that. Move, it was R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the YouTube one. Yeah, you're hard, you're hard. Hold that, hold that. <laughs> Anyways, he leaves, yeah. He's like, Mohammed, make sure you turn off the light and yeah. go to sleep. And like, he was serious. Like, my dad was, he was, he was yeah. serious with me. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> so he's told me to put it away. I'm like, mm. say no more, cool. I'm so engrossed in the book that yeah. I time mm. just flies, and I was like, "Oh, I'll, I'll just flies. you know turn off my light and go to bed like just before he comes." Mm. But like, time went that quickly, yeah. so now uh, I hear the door opening, oh, and the, <laughs> the thing is, my bedroom is right next to the front door, yeah. and like the doors open, I'm panicking. I quickly turn off my light, <laughs> <laughs> try my and mate. go to sleep. <laughs> Bro, the guy comes into my room. He's like, Muhammad. Muhammad. Like I think he kind of knew that I was awake, obviously, innit? yeah. Perfect. But I didn't answer. I was pretending to be asleep. I was like, "I hope you don't." Get, like, I was like. I was facing the other and side, yeah, like, and I was like, this the whole time. <laughs> bro, the guy, oh. Bro, the guy yeah. goes to the lamp. Yeah. <laughs> he, does t- he, feel? <laughs> he touches the light bulb. <laughs> it's hot. And it was hot. And he was like, Muhammad, give me the book. <laughs> <laughs> just like. I was just like. <laughs> take. I was so sad, uh, but it's just the way he clocked, bro. He was, he was obviously pissed off at me because it was like, like mm. was something. yeah, this guy had tactics, fam. I swear on. My parents actually had everything. good tactics. But the thing is, I'm very grateful and like for uh, how I was raised as well. Know. Like it did help even at school as well. Like I felt like everything was kind of uh, easy for me, especially mm. up until GCSEs. Anyway, like everything yeah. was kind of easy. I didn't really need to try hard with anything, and I feel like that's because mm. my parents kind of with that restriction of like mm. other sources of entertainment, mm. focusing on books and like we used to do a lot of extracurricular stuff. So like my yeah. mom would buy loads of like maths books and verbal and non-verbal reasoning books oh, and like force this. us to do it at home. Yeah. And th- like when I was younger, I didn't even see it as forcing us. I just saw it as like, this is how mm. life is. Like, this is just what I do. I come yeah, back home from yeah. school. I do some verbal, non-verbal reasoning, some maths. You know the Bond books? I don't know if you might know about oh the Bond God, books. Oh my God, the Bond remember books. remember them? Bruh. They were sick, bruv. I always had to get the older, the older kids because <laughs> yeah. I was intelligent. They <laughs> joined the, a- the, a- the AQA books. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like mm. obviously <laughs> very grateful that that's the case. And then it got to A-levels. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's when... Uh, I thought I could do the same thing, mate. I could not. <laughs> it wasn't It wasn't the same at yeah, all. Yeah, it was a shock. Nice, mad. GCSE was hard though. Yeah, how, was, how, yeah, how was your GCSE? Bro, A-level GCSE. Bro, GCSE. We're talking about GCSE. That yeah. was so difficult. So they give you so many subjects that you have to learn. And they expect you as a little, like from year yeah. nine guy, year 10, to learn all of them stuff. Like it was crazy. It was too much. Yeah. Sorry, my English just went like all of them stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was so difficult. But yeah. um, with the with the help of God. So is this a religious podcast or not? Salam alaikum, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah, yeah, it was really difficult. Like I feel like eight, for me personally, A-levels was easier than GCSE. Really? 100%. Nothing. Was it mostly because yeah. maybe you just got overwhelmed by the amount of subjects? And yeah. Because A levels you, you do focus. like three or four, innit? Yeah, A levels you do three and you, you're able to focus on three different things. Yeah. It's not even about how difficult they are, it's just the focus. You have to focus on so many. Um. Apparently, we need to wrap things up now because we have been. <laughs> wrap it up. Yeah. Anything to conclude? Any any uh, last words? Oh, I'm just hungry, to be honest. I'm be- you had a buffet, I had no munch. I had the buffet, I'm still <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Can you see the size? Size oh difference. My God. No, um, just guys, please tune in to Amazon, his channel, please, you I know. I mean, if they've reached the end, they've basically... Yeah, if you've reached in. the end, the real ones here. Unless you just skip the end. <laughs> yeah. No, for reals, like, he's honestly, from someone else talking, he, mashallah, he's the most genuine person ever. Oh. And, like, yeah, trust me, if you continue with him, yeah, well, you will for sure. Sh- money or what? what are you <laughs> trying to say, bro? No, you will learn a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot from him and just oh, give sure. him as much love and support yeah, that you yeah. can. And yeah, last words. Well, yeah, just to end, um, I want to say mm. if you watched to the end, love. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to go through a lot of the questions because I don't know when we, when I first came here I was like yeah. it's, it's going to be difficult to find stuff it to talk about. We just so ended up weird. talking, talking, yeah, talking, yeah. and then I didn't go through a lot of the questions. Obviously, this is a yeah. learning process, though. So of course, yeah. Uh, this is we've taken something from this, and we know that we we don't necessarily need three <laughs> three million questions to yeah but it's so weird because like we're talking like we're on the telephone like how we speak on the telephone yeah yeah it? that's yeah we're literally talking and we, just so comfortable and we just talk all the time yeah but anyway but um what what was i saying yeah you just thank you for yeah. watching in general 
And uh, yeah, just any feedback, genuinely any feedback. Please, any, please. Even if it's a little thing, even if you say, oh, your laces were undone. Calm, even if you call me out. fat just please just write it down <laughs> in the <laughs> comments down below weight. please motivate me to lose motivate weight thank you weight, <laughs> yeah. motivate me please and then um, please just write fat just write he's fat no 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 no, 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 no hate no hate yeah but you have to actually add we this. need constructive <laughs> criticism but um yeah also if, uh let us know for oh god the english is not <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah like i was saying mm. if you can think mm. of an actual name for this then please let me know i haven't thought of a name i haven't thought of a <laughs> yeah this is right now this is we're just operating on pure whatever it is we're just going with the flow yeah and just trying yep. to learn from the process the vibe, yeah we, we need to end it with a like chunks chunks says the amen we need to do oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. No, no, make, your, make your own one oh, okay hey, yeah, you ma. Hey, what? go on go on go on finish it off <laughs> Wait, <laughs> really? give them a little song what what uh our junior songs do we know uh yeah. What? Comment stuff on what Hisham can do to improve in whatever he's doing. Obviously, me as well, but yeah. please like, pay extra attention to Hisham because please. he's newer, like on camera. And yeah, stuff like yeah, that. very, very and new. I f I'm already I'm nervous, but I feel a bit more comfortable on the camera. Yeah, I do. But yeah, with Hisham, just give him any constructive I'm criticism. A baby. And if there's things that you, you think he did well, also let him yeah, know that please. as well. Be like brutally on, like brutally honest, brutally okay? Honest, yeah. Like I want the, I just want you guys you to comment hammer on, on the me. belly. Comment on the belly. Comment whatever you want. The flashing, the belly, whatever you want. Flashing. Just comment. Oh my god. All right. That's Sorry. That, that's, um. Thank uh, guys. Love. Um. And love. Yeah, love. Hey.